How's it going everybody? Dregast here and welcome back to another monthly mega unboxing video. Now if you're just stumbling on this video don't really know what a monthly mega unboxing is, well essentially I find a bunch of geek boxes every month and unbox them all in one video so you guys can kind of compare some of the most popular boxes out there and see which one you guys want. Now this month I actually did drop a lot of the boxes that we've been doing as of late because I kind of want to refine this, make it a little shorter and get some of the best of the best in this series. So we got still Loot Crate, Loot Anime, Geek Fuel, and 1UP Box. That's it. Everything else I've gotten rid of so I hope you guys enjoyed those ones but we're going to try and refine this a little more and pick and choose some of the best ones out there. So let's start off with this month's Loot Crate. I actually have no idea what the theme is. I intentionally didn't look them up this month because I kind of want to be surprised. I don't really know what they would do in January. Last month it was all Star Wars because Star Wars was being released so I'm excited to see if these ones are a little different from one, one another because last month it was like everyone was doing Star Wars. So let's open this up and see what's inside. Okay, this first thing really excites me because I was a huge X-Files fan as a kid and if you don't know it's recently come back or at least I think it's coming back. It's in the process. So we got an awesome little shirt design here. Got the aliens in the top, the spaceships coming down, and then the humans on the ground being lifted up via tractor beams. That is one awesome shirt, a great graphic as well. I'm seriously pumped for this one. Okay, and moving on, we got another vinyl figure here. This is a Space Invaders mini vinyl figure. Limited edition. It seems like everything in these boxes are limited edition, but I am a big fan of Space Invaders. You know, any retro game is always great to have. Uh, so let's see what this figure looks like. Gotta love this packaging though, you see the figure and then just all that extra space, meaning less space in the box, so they're really trying to push this month to fill up that box. Ooh, but this is actually, ooh, this feels really high quality, like I can't even explain how this feels. It's such a cool design though, it feels really good, uh, definitely a nice figure, and actually it looks like it's hollow in there as well. Uh, it's all as you can actually see right through it as well, and it's got a nice little orange to clear fade gotta say I actually do really dig this figure and is this what the hell? Um, okay, I have no idea who this guy is, but I am really intrigued right now Okay, so I looked this up, and I'm, I'm actually kind of embarrassed. This is a face hugger from the alien series I gotta say Great quality figure. I always try and let you guys know how I feel about the quality of these things because it's hard to tell on video. But yeah, this does feel like a nice quality plush. I don't see any stitching issues or anything. So yeah, pretty cool little guy here. Okay, and moving back to the X-Files, we got an LED flashlight here with just the X-Files on it. Um, gotta say, you know, I've, I've seen these LED flashlights in the dollar store for like... Uh, you get like three for a dollar, so this does feel like filler content with just the X-Files logo on it. But let's try it out and see how good it is. So here's the LED flashlight, it's just one of those mini flashlights, it looks like it's got like, eh, I'm gonna say n seven LEDs in the front. Uh, it does come with batteries, so props for that, they do actually give you a little thing of batteries. So I'll just put these in here and see how good it is. Okay, so I did put the batteries in it, and as you can see, it does produce quite a bit of light. Now my white balance will probably not show you how bright it truly is, but yeah, these little LED flashlights are great. Uh, I would argue that this is filler content, but it is useful as well, so throw it in your car, throw it in your backpack, whatever you have, and you're good to go. Okay, and next we got an actual ID badge here. Now this is from the Fifth Element. It's a prop re replica, actually, from the show. I never actually watched the show, so I don't know much behind it, but we'll open it up here and check out what's inside. Okay, and here is the multi-pass out of its packaging here. It is, as I stated before, the Fifth Element. It's from the TV series. It's supposed to be a prop replica of the multi-pass in that series. Again, I haven't seen the show, so I don't know much behind it, but you can take this out and put in your own ID, actually in here as well so that's actually really cool I do like it and is that just is this seriously just a big elastic I mean I'm not complaining that is the biggest elastic band I've ever seen I don't know if they accidentally <laughs> put it in my package or something that's impressive though like seriously look look, look at the size of this thing my, my hands right beside it my god so yeah I see no mention of said elastic band in the actual booklet so I I guess this is just extra for me Sweet. Okay, and this actually intrigues me. It looks like they're updating their monthly loot pin here. This is actually a much better quality pin than the boring um, tin ones before. This is all metal. Uh, looks great. It's got a gold back hanger on it. So I'm going to take it out. I'm kind of impressed with this, honestly. Uh, they seem to want to improve themselves in 2016. And it also says on the back, this pin unlocks something epic. Go to lootcrate.com slash pins. So I'm going to go there now, but you can see... 
Uh, the quality of the pin here, if it ever wants to focus, is actually really nice. At least it's a hell of a lot better than the generic pins they used to do last year. This one, I actually would like to start collecting these now. Before, I would always complain about them, why they put them in. Now, that looks great. Okay, so I looked into the pin here, uh, what's going on with their online loot now. Um, that's actually pretty cool. So basically, every month you get a pin, you put in a code online, and you get some sort of online content. This month, it is actually a comic book called Letter 44, Volume 1, Escape Velocity. So yeah, you might get games, you might get uh, comic books. I don't know what else they're going to be uh, doing in the future, but hell of a lot better than the old pins, that's for sure. Okay, and the last thing in the box, we got, it looks like some more mini prints here. Now, I love any type of artwork. It's actually, I do collect artwork, especially gaming artwork, so I love getting these mini prints. Uh, I've only received one, I believe, so this is truly exciting for me. Uh, it looks like we got The War of the Worlds, which is a classic sci-fi movie, and we also got The Day the Earth Stood Still, another classic sci-fi movie, like 1950s, I believe. Um, really impressed with this artwork. Again, I do collect stuff like this, so it's nice to see, and uh, some great artwork at that. Look at these things. But yeah, this month's been honestly great for Loot Crate. I gotta say, it's probably my favorite one yet. We got that shirt, we got the prop replica, we got that plushie, we got the vinyl figure. Uh, I gotta say, I do love this vinyl figure. This one's probably my favorite. Um, and just a few other things as well. The online comic book, the awesome new pins. I gotta say, now is the time to get Loot Crate. I also read in the um, Loot Crate magazine book, they're going to be doing a shirt every month for 2016, so if you are a fan of shirts in these boxes, now's the time to get them. Okay, so starting off strong for 2016, next up we got Loot Anime here. Now, if you don't know what Loot Anime is, it's another subscription box by Loot Crate. They're actually going into different subscription boxes now. I think they got a pet one, they had a Modern Warfare one, they had a Star Wars one, those were like monthly ones, but they have this monthly Loot Anime one as well. Now, I will warn you ahead of time, as I stated last time, I don't know much about anime. They just requested that I do an unboxing of it for you guys and you know what I know a lot of you like anime so I figured you know what yeah we'll do it and by the way I'm not sponsored by these guys they don't pay me to do these I get money if you guys subscribe and that's it but I don't get anything for loot anime this is more for you guys than me uh, so yeah hope you enjoy it let's get into it okay and starting off strong we got another shirt here now again I don't know much about anime guys I am so sorry um, I feel really bad because I got a lot of hate last month for just knowing no nothing really about it. Again, I just want to show you guys the quality of this. You guys can decide if you want the box or not for yourself. But yes, we got a shirt here. We got, um, it's Rocka Braves of the Six Flowers t-shirt. Uh, it does feel, again, I gotta say it, great quality as always with, um, Loot Crate or Loot Anime in this regard. Bunch of anime figures on there, a nice print. Uh, there's actually, it looks like there's text in between it as well. Don't really know what it means. But it looks nice. Okay, and next up we got, whoa, that's a really big scarf. But yeah, we got an exclusive fairy tale replica scarf here. Now I'm gonna actually take off the tag here so I can try it on. And uh, yeah, you guys can see what it looks like. So again, this is a fairy tale replica scarf. There's nothing on it besides this kind of web like design. Don't know what it refers to, but damn, I'm fabulous. Okay, and next up we got an exclusive Madoka art print here. Just a very small uh, print of this little anime girl. So yeah, gotta say, once again, it's nice, but I don't know anything about it. I'm sorry. Okay, this is something I know about. We got Konpito. Well, I don't know what this actually is, but it's candy, so I know about it. We got Konpito sugar candies. It looks like they're little... I don't even know what they are. They, they just look like sugar candy. Um, so I'm assuming it's some sort of Japanese thing. I'm excited to try these out. I love trying different candies from all over the world. So we're gonna try these suckers out. Well, it smells like almost like licorice. You can see uh, they're just like they're actually really heavy. They're just like little sugar candies though. So let's let's try one out here. Okay, here's what the candy looks like up close. It's just like crystal candy almost. Um, it's some sort of Japanese candy. So let's try it out. Wow. I gotta say, that's one of the better, like, sugar-based candies that I've ever had. So it's called Quinpito Star Candy. These Asian star-shaped snacks are the favorite food of adorable suit sprites, a popular snack for many anime characters, and an inspiration for Legend of Zelda's Gratitude Crystals. Today I learned. Sweet. Okay, and something I actually kind of recognize. We got a Kingdom Hearts Keyblade keychain here. 
Uh, again, looks great quality. It's all metal. I'm gonna open it up and see how good it truly is. Okay, and here is the actual keychain here in all its glory. It's a very big keychain, as you can see. There's a little charm on there as well. Uh, again, great quality. Uh, feels good, but I, I wouldn't wear it on my keys. That would stab the hell out of me. Okay, and we got a pin here. This one is, is it wrong to try and pick up girls in a dungeon enamel pin? Uh, so yeah, another pin. I no idea what it's about again. I'm sorry, but yeah, that's a cute little character here. It looks kind of evil. And uh, yeah, just a basic pin. And we got another one of those phone charms as well. You guys seem to really like the phone charm last month. So here's another one here. This one is um, exclusive enchant phone charm. So yeah, just uh, one based on the theme of this loot anime, I'm assuming. And finally, we got another poster here. Uh, if I can get this all in frame, this is a very big poster. I do like that they, on these, these crates, they put all the information of all the actual loot on the back of these posters. So yeah, you get, it seems like you get a poster every month instead of the um, Loot Crate magazine. So really cool idea. Again, another very nice poster, very anime-like. So I'm, I'm assuming if you guys like loot anime, you'll like this poster as well. So that's it for loot anime. Again, it's very hard for me to tell because I don't know anything about anime. But yeah, we got a scarf, we got a shirt, we got a poster, we got a bunch of different charms and whatnot. Gotta say, I mean, it was very anime-like, so I'm assuming if you like anime, you might like it. But moving on, time is of essence, and I am getting hot with this scarf on, and I don't want to take it off. We're gonna go to Geek Feel. This is one of the newer ones. I've been blown away with Geek Feel almost every month. Uh, I really do love their, their stuff inside, that's why I kept them. And uh, yeah, we'll see what's inside this month's. As always with Geek Feel, great packaging and actually hides the content of the crate. That way, you know, you can kind of surprise yourself. So always props to them for doing one of the best packaging in any of these boxes. Okay, and it looks like we got another monthly contest here. Feel the Flash contest. Now this one's actually really cool. There's a grand prize right on the back here. It's an Xbox One bundle with a bunch of Flash stuff. I'm gonna actually let you guys see if you win because I don't want to win it. I'd rather give it to you guys. Um, chances are you won't win, but if you go to this URL and then input these coordinates, if you find the flash, I guess you win. So yeah, I love that he, they do this every month. They do some kind of fun thing, you gotta phone in sometimes, gotta go to a website. But yeah, I hope you guys win, best of luck. If you do win, let me know in the comments below. Okay, next up, I've seen this before, so clearly Geek Feel and Loot Crate are buying their things together, because this was in one of the last year's Loot Crates, very early on. Uh, but yes, this is Orange Sword Sours, so... Yeah, they're, they're candy, it's in a nice little tin, it's a collectible tin, it's nice. But I've seen it before, so it's kind of like, meh. Okay, I always like it when there's a box with nothing that explains what's on it. Usually there's something good inside, so let's find out if that's the case this time. Uh, what the hell? Is it, are they getting married to me? Look at this, we got an actual, some sort of jewelry in here. Oh my god, I'm excited. So inside, we are greeted with an Umbrella Corporation pin. Gotta say, that's pretty fancy for a pin. But yes, uh, Re Resident Evil's Umbrella Corporation. I believe it's its own thing now. It might be, I don't know if they're making anything with it. I don't know much about Umbrella Corporation, but I immediately re recognize the actual logo here. Uh, so yeah, really fancy box for a little pin. Oh god, please don't tell me it's another mug. I feel like it's another mug. I'm getting sick of getting mugs, to be totally honest. And it's a mug, okay. Okay, I lied, I kinda do like this mug. This is a Star Labs coffee mug. I don't know why I like it so much, but when they make a famous logo into a geeky reference, I do really appreciate it. So yeah, um, Star Labs from DC Comics into a Starbucks logo. Really good idea, honestly. Okay, next up we got a shirt here at the bottom of the box. Let me see if I can get the actual thing all in the frame. Uh, a brief history in time travel. I actually really appreciate this shirt. I don't know a lot of these. We got the TARDIS, we got obviously the DeLorean, we got the Hot Tub Time Machine. I don't know what the rest are though, but obviously famous references to different time tra travel me methods in different movies and shows. Really cool idea, gotta love it. Okay, in our first Star Wars reference, we got a Jakku Comic Con intergalactic uh, advertisement poster for obviously a fake Comic Con on the planet Jakku in Star Wars. So yeah, great little design here. I love it when it's like a very hidden reference. And uh, this one, I don't think a lot of people would know this is even Star Wars related. And we got, once again, another game to give away. We got Metro Warp here. Again, another game I've never heard of. $10 value, so again, if you're early to this video, go ahead and try and input this code in Steam and you might get this game for free. Let me make sure you guys can actually see the code. Yes, there it is. Good luck to all of you. I hope you enjoy the game, whoever gets it. Okay, but that wraps it up for Geek Feel for the month of January. I gotta say, 
Gotta give it to Loot Crate, at least so far. Loot Crate blew me away this month. Uh, this wasn't a bad box. I don't think it was anything amazing either. We got the shirt, which was really cool. A lot of the other stuff I was kind of on the fence about. We got the mug, we got the candy, the Umbrella Corporation pin was pretty cool. I felt like it was a little too fancy for a simple pin. But yeah, a good box overall. I wouldn't say it was anything amazing, though. Okay, and the final box for the month is 1UP Box, one of my personal favorites, only because it's just so much cheaper than most of the other boxes. Uh, I believe last time I checked this was like $11 a month as compared to Loot Crate's 19 and you're guaranteed a shirt every month. So let's see what they got inside this month. Okay, and starting off with, we got a Dorbs figure. I gotta say, I'm much more of a fan of pop figures just because of the style of them. Dorbs are a little too simple for myself, but yeah, we got a Deadpool figure, so let's see how good it actually looks. Okay, and here is the figure in all its glory. Again, a very basic figure. Dorbs are meant to look this way. I like that they added the little back thing here so it looks like he's wearing a hood. A cute little guy, but I just wish it was a pop figure, to be honest. We got another patch in this month's box. We got, obviously, if this ever focuses, Zelda meets Game of Thrones. If you don't know, Loot Crate likes to combine usually two things together. Uh, I really appreciate that because it comes out with cool things like this. So, yeah, Game of Thrones meets Zelda. Gotta say, pretty cool. And as always, we get a monthly shirt. This month's shirt is Pugs of Legend, kind of making fun of pug groups in League of Legends, I'm assuming. I don't know if this is actually League of Legends, because I haven't played in so long, I forget a lot of the heroes. But obviously, judging by the title of this shirt, I'm assuming it's referring to League of Legends and pug groups. Everyone hates pug groups. Okay, and I don't know what everyone's fascination is with the Starbucks logo, but we got another one here. Zero to Hero Coffee, obviously, uh, that would be Hercules. Uh, it's actually a beer cozy, which I don't know why they'd put that in a one-up box. I guess you could put Pop in here as well, but only, only people I know who use these are guys that want to keep their beer cold. But I gotta say, that's good for me because I drink beer and I could use a beer cozy. So Zero to Hero, Hercules Coffee. Interesting. And we got a Super Mario dog kit tag. It says, look for the gold tags, guys. I've always, I never understood these collectible things. So you can collect all 30 tags, yada, 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 you get the idea. Spent a lot of money on stupid little merchandise, to be totally honest, in my opinion. Um, it's, it, it's a dog tag. It's one of the most common items that are just mass produced. But here we go. We got... Princess Peach. How nice. So it also comes with a trading card. We got Glowing Baby Yoshi. It's kind of like a hollow fo foil uh, card, and it explains a bit on the back what Glowing Baby Yoshi is. Yeah, I mean, it's a collectible. I don't like it personally, but I think some people would. And just in case you're crazy and you want to actually collect these dog tags, it also gives you a checklist to make sure you've spent enough money buying them. And finally, on this box, we got a Valentine's Day card here. Good idea, considering Valentine's Day is coming up. It says, whoever holds this hammer, if they be worthy, shall possess my love. There you go, a nice Thor-based Valentine's card. So yeah, that's it for 1UP Box as well. Um, gotta say, I'm gonna give it to Loot Crate hands down this month. They blew me away, but this wasn't too bad either. Again, you gotta acknowledge that 1UP Box is generally cheaper than the other ones, so you're not gonna get as much. But we got the beer cozy, we got the shirt, we got the Dorbs figure. I can't say I'm overly impressed with it, but I'm not mad at it either. I would say it's a very decent box. So yeah, guys, another month's done. I hope you enjoyed this mega unboxing. Um, once again, as I stated before, Loot Crate, without a doubt, wins. Uh, I was blown away. I hope you guys enjoyed it, though. Let me know what you think in the comments below if I should add any more boxes. Are you content with these boxes? Do you have any suggestions for other boxes? And make sure you check out the description of this video if you do want to consider subscribing to any of these, because I sometimes have deals for them. Thanks for watching, guys. I'll see you in the next one.